Good afternoon and welcome back to Asgard and welcome back to the third episode of our Direwolf 20 1.10 Let's Play series. I got a spider on the wall. Um, if you notice I've moved, <laughs> I've moved the area over. I don't want him getting in because he'll trample stuff. Um, but I wanted an area kind of out of that cave somewhere we would live possibly more long term. Um, and this is where I ended up moving to. So it's actually not terribly far from where we were. Um, we were right up here and we just moved right down here. Um, you'll notice I have a bunch of farms set up. We've got coffee plants, we've got bushes with berries, we've got some sheep, uh, some carrots and rice plants, industrial hemp, cactus, a little bit of ender lily actually. Um, by the way, in case you don't know, these can drop from regular grass when you break them now. So um, <clears throat> they're a little bit easier to find. It's not terribly common, but you will find them. I found four just breaking grass. Um, and then I also got wheat and sugar canes planted. Um, I also added um, an alloy smelter and a sag mill, mainly because with the sag mill I can double my wheat. And um, then the alloy smelter, um, I wanted to make some quite clear glass. Which actually, I guess now that I think about it, I could have just chiseled that, but whatever. Um, down here, I've got... Oops. Okay. Down here, I've got a little setup going um, to pump lava into fluid placers. And if we get out of here. I uh, got a bit more lava here. I've still got that pump over there running and chunk loaded. Right now, I'm just using the... Um, <clears throat> The, this method to claim chunks um, and then we've got our crusher and our powered furnace over here um, I did find a village earlier and that's where I got a lot of the coffee coffee seeds and um, I've also got in the uh, flax and stuff like that um, I also got potatoes and beets I don't have those planted just yet but I did find a building wand and an illumination wand um, now normally you would have to have blaze rods to craft these but they do definitely help these wand cores take blazer rods and gold nuggets. Uh, but basically these wands, the building wand works just like a builder's wand. Um, it does require energy, but um, you can uh, uh, place blocks with this. And if you do, let's see, I believe it's set to equal. No. What's it set to? Yeah, it should be equals. Oh, I think maybe I have to. Yeah. Uh, nine blocks in a row, 25 blocks, 25 blocks in a row, um, singles, and so on. You can change the setting for this. So, then the illumination wand, the way this works is, wow, that like zoomed my camera in really far. Um, if you right click, you can make these like balls of light, and then you can just quickly break them, but they act as a, a light source. So, um, this one's definitely nice to have on hand um, when you go exploring. So, um, and by the way, we have a ton of metals now. So, um, <clears throat> but anyway, today we're going to be getting into, uh, by the way, I have two capacitors stacked on top of each other for each of these. So, uh, that way we can have two million storage. Um, <clears throat> and we have a lot of food, an absolute ton of food. Um, but today, of course, we're going to start getting into Tinker's Constructs, and we're going to go to the Nether as well. Those kind of go hand in hand, I think. So, um, and actually before we go, another thing that I want to make is the bee smoker. Because I did get some forestry stuff, some bee houses and whatnot um, from the village. But now, if you try to break a, a beehive, you'll get about half your hearts taken away. So I do suggest you, you make yourself one of these bee smokers. Because this, you can actually calm the bees so that you don't get attacked by them. So let's go ahead and get, I'm actually going to need a couple flint and steel. <clears throat> for this because we're going to need one of course to go to the nether so I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of these and then we just need some tin I believe it's five of it but that's our bee smoker so we've got that now in case we come across any bees while we're in the nether um, we can use that but let's go ahead and get ourselves a few seared bricks we'll go ahead and start with and yeah, we'll turn all this into seared bricks I'm going to go ahead and go for a three by three by two and we'll set it up <clears throat> just right over here, I guess. And I'm going to bring this out. Oh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> okay. 
and the way you set these up is still the same as it was so there's no real change as far as that goes and actually for right now I may do a three by uh, three by three by one and then I'll just expand it. I've got a bunch of grout cooking um, so it won't be a problem but let's go ahead and get our controller we'll get a couple drains I always do two drains that's just you could do just one if you prefer but um, I've always liked having a table and a basin and not having to switch them out I always <laughs> hated that and let's go ahead and oh yeah we'll need um, some kind of a tank I've got glass so we'll do this style tank all right now we're all set and we'll get this put together um, I'm gonna need something there we go and we'll put this gauge here and we'll do drain drain basin and table faucet and faucet and oh yeah we need one more brick um, by the way this stuff still made the same way it's just um, there's a couple different ways you can make it I mean I guess technically it's basically just a different recipe um, but the grout is you can either do a block of clay with four sand and four gravel or four or one gravel one sand and a piece of clay for two so it's fairly cheap to set up <clears throat> and there we go so once these fires light of course it's running and the first thing that we're gonna make is going to be an obsidian pick and that's basically just to allow us to mine cobalt um, you know in the past you had to use alumite but that's not the case anymore so I think three pieces should be good and then we just need to give this a little bit of lava. Where do my buckets go? All right, and we'll let that smelt up. <clears throat> um, also for mining, while that's smelting, um, I've got this little system set up here. So if you stand on top of the trap door and hit the button, it's going to drop you down. And then my mine area. Um, which I've been strip mining down through there and, and whatnot. And then we can just take this ladder back up. Oh, and before I forget, um, in, I guess it was added in 1.10 or something, you can actually lock your difficulty. So we'll go ahead and lock it. Um, it says this will set this world to always be hard and you will never be able to change that again. Yes. So for now on, we'll be hard difficulty. I had it set to hard. I just forgot that we could lock it. So we'll go ahead and do that. And... Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and actually grab a bit of this flour and let this cook so that we have food to take with us. Um, and now what we need to do is let's go ahead and get the rest of our TC stuff set up. So let's get a bit of this, a bit of sticks. And that should be plenty. I think 28 is a good number to go with. And then, of course, we'll get our stencil table, part builder. We can't make chests like this. Oh, yeah, we can. Cool. Oh, but I think we'll actually... I don't know. I don't know if these will work or if it has to be oak chests. Let's see. Oh, it does work. Okay. I remember there's some chests, at least in the past, that that didn't work with, so. And then we just need a crafting table. Okay. So, let's get... We'll set our stencil table. We'll do it right over here. We'll do... Stencil table. Connected to a pattern chest. Put another pattern chest over here for our uh, smeltery patterns and then we'll do a part builder tool station and then I always like to have a crafting table near this so we'll go ahead and make crafting station there we go and then we'll go ahead and stencil out I go ahead and generally just stencil everything 
or get all of them. So give me a second while I go ahead and make all of these stencils. Okay, and that leaves us with one blank pattern left over. So we are all set on those. Also, let's go ahead and get some aluminum blast brass cooking up. So that is three parts aluminum, one part copper um, to get that. So we'll get that going. And then I want to go ahead and make a few pieces here in the tool station. So of course that we can transfer them, or not the, not the tool station, the part builder. Um, so that we can transfer these over and let's go ahead and it's really nice by the way you can just click now on if you have a uh, pattern chest right next to your part builder you can just click on the pattern instead of having to drag it over so we'll go ahead and get a stone pickaxe head we'll get a tool rod and uh, I don't know if I really want to make the binding out of yeah we'll just make it out of obsidian because I, I could make it out of paper but eh. It don't matter. And now we've got our aluminum brass. Now you'll notice it doesn't trans it doesn't change over immediately. Um, it takes it a second and then it'll change over. So um, but anyway we'll throw this stuff in here and pour that aluminum brass on it and get all these uh, molds for them. <clears throat> then we'll set our obsidian up and I'll make the rest of these molds. Generally I'll go ahead and make all of them. Um, but I'll do it off camera, so because we don't need it at the moment. I think they really did a lot of really nice work on um, the tool station. Now you'll notice that Obsidian now has Duratai, and if you if you tab over this stuff, you can see what they do. And Duratai, your tool lasts longer most of the time. And um, then of course you can see your different uh, stats on here, and you'll notice the mining level is Cobalt. Now it doesn't have a whole lot of durability, but that's okay. That is okay. Um, actually, probably in um, the next episode or something, I'll show you a way to repair your tools without actually having to waste uh, materials on them. So now um, we're not even going to worry about putting like mending or any of that stuff on there because we can actually rig it up so that we don't have to worry about it taking any damage. <clears throat> Let me empty out my inventory really quick. Alright, by the way, the way I get out of here is I have a little ladder here with a trap door. You'll notice the zombie really wants in here right now, but... Um, then, of course, if we have stuff like that, we can just bring them down. And kill them. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, let's go ahead and we'll set up our nether portal like right here, I think. And here we go. So, let me keep that on me. And this, and of course we're mainly looking for Cobalt Ardite right now. Okay, so here we are. We Looks like we spawned up in a cave, which is great. I'm going to say this is home for now. And oh, what do you know? We already found Cobalt. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Um, and yeah, okay, this goes in our bag. I did notice um, earlier I came across some um, Certus. And that did not go into my tool bag, or my ore bag. So, and I did fix the name on this. It's ores and stuff now. <laughs> um, but anyway, you know, I hear gassed. Um, give me a second. I'm going to do a little bit of mining, see if I can find um, a little bit more cobalt and maybe some ardite as well. Because we're going to want manual and weapons, I think. Okay, I did finally find some ardite. So, there's that. But I still want more cobalt because we're going to need a little bit more, I think, to make our tool... Or at least, you know, a couple tools to start with. So, I'm going to continue mining here. Haha, <laughs> I got a ghast. <laughs> oh, and we found our very first piece of draconium. Or our very first draconium ore, anyway. Uh, how many did we get? We got four. Alright. I think I found a blaze that I can take. Because I did try taking one earlier. But it was like over, kind of near a cliff. And it just kind of flew off. <laughs> Not even... Ah, man, the nether's dangerous now. Like, look at all these blazes. Um, I've killed three so far that I was able to find, kind of pick them off. Uh, still no blaze, blaze rods, though. I'm having, like, terrible luck, I guess. Okay, I'm headed back home, by the way. We ended up getting nine cobalt, ten ardite. Um, I did grab a little bit of nether quartz. However, my pick broke, so I'm having to just punch my way through. Um, I should have brought just a backup iron pick or something, but, uh, oh well. I'm almost there. Okay, I think we're going to make paper uh, bindings. 
So we'll go ahead and get just a few pieces of paper. And <clears throat> uh, of course paper gives writable. So definitely, definitely don't mind that. And we'll grab one for right now. And then we'll do cobalt for our pickaxe head. Because it has a higher uh, mining speed, of course, than Manulin does. Manulin has a lot higher attack, whereas Cobalt tends to be faster. And it's actually about double now, um, the difference between, you know, each of them. Okay, by the way, it, oh, I'm on my way to an island to see if we can get some purple slime, maybe. Um, but the Forest Hive, for example... What we'll do is we'll spray it with the bee smoker, and then we can use this and break it open. And the bees won't attack us. So that's how you should um, gather those. And by the way, you'll notice that the bee smoker doesn't actually take any kind of durability damage. So it's very, very nice. If you ever want an easy way down here, if you have a bucket, that's the way I do it. Instead of breaking all those blocks again. And you can just ride this down. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a minute for it to, to fall all the way, but... And there we go. Nope. Whoops. Okay, I found what we were looking for, uh, purple slime saplings. And, of course, those grow on the islands. Uh, I finally found some, and we need to put them onto... Slimy dirt. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> so we'll just... Actually, I'll just put it right there. That's fine. And we can put our purple slime down and bone meal it. And sometimes it'll take a few tries. There we go. That's what we're wanting is this slime ball here. They're fairly rare. Um, that was my second tree when I finally got the first one. Um, but occasionally they're going to drop from the leaves. So you'll notice I didn't get any that time. Um, and we're going to want a couple of these. So give me a minute. I'm going to keep growing these and get a few of these. Three of those, which should be fine for now. Um, and what we're going to do here is let's get some iron. And I decided that our tool rod, we're going to make it out of night metal. Which the way you get that is you're going to throw in... Let me get the exact measurements here for you. It's 144 millibuckets of seared stone, 125 liquid purple slime, which that's a half of what you would get from a single slime ball. And then 72 millibuckets of iron is going to get you 72 millibuckets of night, uh, molten night slime. Not night metal, night slime. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're going to throw that in there. We'll throw a couple of those, and we're going to throw a bit of cobblestone in there. Okay, so we have an ingot of night slime, so let's go ahead and get our tool rod for that. And the reason I think we're going to use that is because durability-wise, it has the highest durability. Um, I believe. I went through and looked at them, I believe it has the highest. So it's pretty nice um, in that regard. So we'll go slime, binding, and rod. And you'll notice we have 898 durability, and we get this unnatural uh, boost where it mines faster the higher its mining level is above the required one so you know for like cobblestone stuff it's going to be <laughs> quite a bit faster plus we have momentum um, and then writable on it so for example if I was to switch the night slime with say the manulin you'll notice it's only at 648 um, durability or as compared to 898 now one thing I will tell you is for example, if we take a stone binding, um, right now, of course, it's 898. If we were to switch this, it's 900. Your bindings do now affect your durability. So if you're going to use paper, I would suggest you go with as high um, durability on the rod as you can. But night slime is a pretty good, um, a pretty safe bet. So, um, But I think 898, because we'll be able to repair this stuff for free. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. And we're going to go with the... Pikachu again. Do the same thing with this weapon. Uh, we'll do the manual and longsword. It's going to be manual and blade, um, a paper handguard, and then night slime tool rod. So that way we get this stuff. Now granted a natural is not the best thing, but it gives us a decent durability, so I'm happy with it. And you'll notice it already has 11.14 attack with four modifiers. 
So I'm pretty happy with that. Both of these have four um, cobalt, or the pick has 12 mining speed. Oh, I forgot to name this. That's okay. I'll name it um, in a bit whenever I add uh, modifiers to it. So I'm going to make the rest of the tools off camera, but let's go ahead and get some luck on this stuff. So I think right now I'm going to prioritize, of course, the pick. And one really nice thing is if I was to put this stuff on here, um, you know, I can do like five at a time like that. Um, another thing that you can do is if you just put them like right here, we'll say, you'll notice it takes, it goes up to luck two with this. You can do it and it'll, it'll consume all of those instead of doing like one at a time and all that mess. All right, I was able to get it up to 266 out of 360, so that's not bad. Um, and then, of course, we could always do redstone as well. And, um, by the way, redstone will only go up to a bonus speed of plus 100, so you can apply it for five modifiers, and then it's going to stop working. So we'll go ahead and add a bit of that to it. And you'll notice it stops, and it's like, um, it'll, it'll go up. And then, like, say it'll be, like right now, hastest will be six below um, what it would cap out at. But it'll go ahead and consume that. If you, like right now, for example, um, right now we've got, I can't see it here. Um, okay, there we go. 99 haster. Um, I don't actually have to add a single redstone to cap that out. What I can do is I can just throw like a block of these blocks of redstone and it's going to know, okay, you want to go over this. And so we can accept it. And then of course, finishing it off, you can just throw in your redstone and say, there we go. So upgrading your tools and stuff is so much quicker and it works so much better now um, because I always hated doing those one at a time. <laughs> um, but anyway, now we have a pick with luck, and we'll drop down just really, really quick and see how fast it mines. And keep in mind, we also have unnatural on this. So you'll notice it mines at a pretty decent pace. I will definitely take that. I will definitely, definitely take that. So anyway, um, I do believe I'm going to end out the episode there. Um, I'm going to keep making tools. I do want to get a few more um, tools from Tinker's Construct. So I'll get that stuff off camera. Uh, you know, it all pretty much works the same way. We're just going to do Cobalt Night Slime for the most part with uh, paper modifiers. Um, next episode, let me know down in the comments what you prefer to see. Um, we could either do Magic. Um, start getting into Batania and Blood Magic. I will say that starting Blood Magic is quite a bit different now than it used to be. Um, Batania is, for the most part, the same. Um, starting out, you won't get Day Blooms and Nightshades. Those are gone. Instead, you're going to go straight for the Endo Flame. Um, but we can, either, we can either start Magic or we can um, continue pushing forward with actually additions because there's actually some really nice stuff um, coming up with that in the form of the Empowerer and um, also being able to repair our tools without having to waste material which would be really really nice um, and then there's also extra utilities which would be nice to get started with um, you know setting up like a power grid with that so if you guys have a preference do let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see extra utilities actually additions or magic um, and I will definitely take that into consideration so um, otherwise it'll be a surprise <laughs> Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm going to end it there. If you enjoyed it, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already for more daily videos. And until next time, as always, do take care and I hope to see you guys then.